So next up, it's actually time for my eyeshadow palette. So I keep uh, all of these on the top here because all of these tall ones, they don't really fit standing up like this into my drawers. And then all of this stack kind of here from that palette all the way down there are the palettes I kind of wanted to give a try. I have this drawer and this is like got most of my shadows in here and also this is very full i kind of really want to get rid of some stuff from here second draw and i also want to hopefully try to get rid of some of the things from here as well but this is many palettes i've already tried and i want to keep but i'm pretty sure i can still let go of at least one take my phone off the actual stand to show you guys all the palettes in one place now i am pretty sure it's about 200 i want to say around 220 that mark it could be more than that that's way too much um, I wanted to put everything on the floor so I can go through things slowly and make myself overwhelmed and use that <laughs> as motivation to let go of more um, palettes. Now I had to do it on my floor because I just, I feel like this is the only place for me to see everything all in one go and kind of declutter based off of that. So that's how I'm going to do this. I brought this pile here to the front and I think I'm actually going to start from here and kind of work my way around. So this palette is from Iconic London. Um, I got this as part of like a trial kit. Well, you know those like beauty boxes that you get where there's like a bunch of different products from that particular brand to test out. This I got from there and I have to say, this shade, I am in love with it. It's so nice. I love using this palette so much. And it's the one that's got the most use as well. Um, I have used it a few times and I have to say, this, like the formula for Iconic London is really good. But I feel like not many people talk about their products. This is definitely gonna stay. Now I have this one from Huda Beauty. I'm not even gonna bother splitting this into like brands cause I don't have that kind of patience in me. And also if I do that, I just feel like I'm not gonna end up letting go of anything. This is from Huda Beauty, it's a caramel brown palette. I've used this once and I, I have similar shades cause I've got the, there's another palette of hers and that's very similar to this. And also so is the one that I got from Seattle London. So I don't need this and these are not really shades I'm going to reach for too often. So that's the first thing I'm going to let go of. I've got this one by, oops, Violet Voss. And this is, I'm not even going to try to say it in a French accent. So Le Macaron. Um, that's what actual shades look like. It's a really good formula. I've used this once and I've really enjoyed it. I'll swatch one of the shades and I think this was actually the one that I used as well. It's so nice. If it wants to kindly focus. So I am going to keep this um, for now. I've got this one by NARS and this is the Cool Crush palette. I do like that, so that can stay. Actually, I'm going to put this in my maybe pile, which is quite surprising for me, and I'll come back to this. Next up is this um, by Cash Beauty and it's Modern Legacy. I hate that it's in a packaging like this because it would have been nicer if they did the this like imprint on the actual palette as well and these are the shades now these are definitely shades that I would gravitate towards so for that reason I want to keep this palette but I don't know if I'll necessarily um, use it like this is a really nice color and so is this like pink but I just like, to be fair, I think the only reason I want to keep it is because of this colour and this one. But I think I've got others like this, so I'm going to actually let this one go. There's no point in me keeping it because I highly doubt I'm going to actually use it. I have this one from Nabla, and it's their Cutie Palette in Platinum. That's what it looks like I have, so if I only swatched it once. I do like this palette, it's got a good formula. It feels like it's a really good formula, so I'm going to keep this one as well. I have this Nars in the palette in Afterglow. I think I have actually used this once. Um, NARS formula is definitely quite interesting because you've got shades that are like actually opaque and you've got like toppers in here as well and I was really confused when I used this the first time around. Um, but it is a good quality palette so I'm going to keep this one. And then I have this Tartlet Toasted palette. I haven't bought anything from Tarte in a couple of years. I think I did one order from them and that was it and I've never gone back and bought anything from them. So this palette I got from there I think two years ago but I do really love this it's like the perfect kind of neutral palette for me I'm gonna keep this okay next pile is going to be 
this one that's kind of been hiding onto the side. I've got this Naked 2 palette. I have, I don't think I've actually used this one yet, but I, I really want to um, give it a go. I do love the cool tones in here, and it's probably a good thing I let go of the other Cash Beauty because I've got that shade that I wanted to keep the palette for in here. Um, so I'm going to keep this one instead. I've got Naked 3 as well, and these are like really cool, like they're really cool, like neutral shades. Basically, if I was a palette, this would be me kind of these are the shades that I definitely want to use and I'm going to keep this one for that reason um I've got this one as well I bought this from somebody um because I think they were letting go of some stuff and they just said that some of the shades in here were a bit shattered it was this one so I kind of like repressed that in place and I definitely want to give this one a go because it does look really nice I just need to try to use this more often I have this one um which is also quite nice I have to say um because it's quite like a, a neutral, but like a more reddish kind of palette. I don't know. Okay, this swatch is really nice. I'm going to keep that as well. Then I've got Naked Cherry. I do love these tones. So I think I'm going to also keep this one. I've got Warm Neutrals by Sigma. And that's what it looks like. I honestly feel like Sigma quality is really, really good. And the colour story has always been really great. So I'm going to keep this palette. I honestly don't know how much I'm going to let go of. So and I probably should have mentioned this most likely is not going to be a cut throat to cut out. But as long as I can get rid of something. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I've got this one which is the Untamed palette. And that is so gorgeous. That's got to stay. I also bought the New Mod palette. And... I really, really, really love this colour story, so I'm definitely going to keep this. But I'm going to get rid of this because I hate these like slips that are in palettes. I also bought the Alice in Wonderland palette, and that looks like that. This is really nice. I'm going to keep this one, um, and I'll I'll keep the paper for slip for this one, but only this one. Everything else is gone. I have the Bear Des Bear no Desert Dusk palette by Huda Beauty. That's what it looks like. These tones are definitely interesting. And I really need to like get myself to use this palette because it's so nice. I'm going to keep this one. I've got the Rose Quartz palette, which my friend on Instagram bought me, which I thought was so sweet. And this was like a birthday gift from her. Um, I'm going to keep this one because this, again, is like the perfect colour story for me. Love it. I also have the um, Huda Beauty Retrograde palette, which... Again, the colour story on this is also so, so good. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. I have this palette from Be the Melt and Beetlejuice collection, which I also really liked. Um, and it comes with like that card. And that's what the actual palette looks like. The quality of these shadows is really good. So I'm going to keep this. And this is the other um, Beauty Juice palette that Milk Cosmetics did at the time. And that's what it looks like. And I'm also going to keep because this was like a limited edition. And I really do love that whole collection that came up because I think they did a really good job on that. I'm just going to move some of these palettes so they stop falling. I have this one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Allure palette. And this is like my absolute favourite colour story. Like I think shades like these, like yes please um this just i don't know it's these shades that i always kind of gravitate towards and i <laughs> um so any palette that kind of looks like this like the naked three palette i think there's another one as well like it's just something that i would love to keep um the qualities on this particular palette from revolution is really really good and i feel like they're tinned palettes i don't know their formula is just so different in these and i would definitely recommend if you're going to get a revolution palette you buy something in the the metal tin because they're like a lot better and this color story just it speaks to me so this is not going anywhere i have this ace beauté oceanic palette which looks like this love the color story i love me some greens blues are also really gorgeous i am kind of sad ace beauté is no longer available in the uk because beauty bay used to sell them before um, so it's kind of hard to get hold of the like new palettes that have come out, but that's fine, I guess. And I've got this one from Sigma. It's their neutral palette, which is actually really stunning. Um, I do love a good neutral palette as well, so I'm definitely going to keep this. 
Okay, so I've kind of like reshoved the palette and the way I was that as well because I was getting pins and needles and I'm already really like freaking out. Um, so the next part I'm going to tackle is this one here in front of me. This is by Pat McGrath and this is the uh, the Celestial Divinity Lux Quad in Fleur Fant Fantasia, which looks like this. I bought this from a friend because she's letting go of it and I really like this kind of quad that she had so I'm gonna keep this one as well I have this Sigma rosy Ashley palette which honestly again shades like these you you can't make me stop using them because they're just so stunning so I'm gonna keep this one as well and do you know I could probably get rid of all of my single shadows because I'm pretty sure I have all of those shades in these um I have this NARS extreme effects palette which I got when it was like on like it was for 20 pounds or something ridiculous like, ridiculously cheap on boot and I do love these shades I'm going to keep this as well I have two from shroud cosmetics um this is the it's freaking bats with batty bean um this palette looks like this this shade came broken but I could not bother to try to go through the hassle to get it replaced I just kind of pressed it back in place this palette is just so gorgeous and the second one in the collab was Hello Bean, um, which looks like this. And I love the name play, the word play on this. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's very like, obviously it screams Halloween. I love this so much as well. I have this Beauty Bay Midnight Palette, which looks like this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. I legit adore the Beauty Bay um, formula. But I'm going to let this one go because I actually have the, the big 40 shade palette I think it's like 40 or 42 shades in there I'd rather keep the big one and let the small one go and even if I was to travel and want specific colors like these I'm pretty sure I've got other palettes I can take so I'm gonna let this one go unfortunately um I have this one which is Techno Days again by Beauty Bay which looks like this and I can't lie the formula on this is actually pretty exceptional um so I'm gonna keep this one as well I've got this one by Urban Decay and this is a stoned vibes one first of all the packaging just absolutely immaculate like love that and then this is what the actual palette itself looks like and again this was so nice um i haven't yet used it as you can tell unfortunately most of my eyeshadow palettes are unused but i really want to keep this because i do love that <clears throat> okay next i have this one i bought recently from abh this is the rose metals one again these shades are just so gorgeous like this, this just does something to me. Um, I'm going to keep this palette for sure. I've got the Patrick Tar one. This is the Major Dimensions one, I believe, which looks like this. And it's obviously got the two cream shadows here, which you can use as like, um, as like an eyeshadow, I guess, primer. But you put, put your eyeshadow on or you can use these as eyeliners, which I think is pretty interesting. So I've got this one and it's actually quite a good neutral palette, but I need to remind myself to use this. Um, which is something I need to get in the better habit of doing. But I think it would help if I had less eyeshadow palettes too. So there's also that. I've got this one by Melt Cosmetics in Rust. Um, these shades, again, they're like perfect for autumn um, time. Going to keep this one. I've also got 27, which is another very autumnal palette. Like, I love a good, like, rusty kind of orange. Um, so I'm going to keep this one as well. And again, like, that colour. Like, you're kidding you think I'm not going to buy a palette. Um, <laughs> because, like, you know, I see that and I want it. That's literally how it goes. Um, I'll just do this pile next. I've got some more Melt Cosmetics. I've got Gemini 1 and 2. So Gemini 1 looks like this. Like, you really can't go wrong with this palette. So she's going to stay. And then I've got Gemini 2, which honestly was a really good addition to the first one. And this is also going to stay because it's just so stunning. Like, try convincing me to let it go. Never. That's never happening. I've got this one, which is the Elf Cookies and Dream palette, which looks like this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this palette, but I, I feel like I've got enough blues in my collection, and I'm never. I'm, I really don't think I'm gonna go for those colors. I've got plenty of brown shades. I do like these, and this is interesting. So is that, but I don't think it's worth keeping the entire palette just for those. So I'm going to let this go also because it is untouched. Somebody else can get use out of that. I have this Pat McGrath one. I think these have finally been discontinued. 
this is the subversive um palette which looks like this um i've used it once and i think i used this shade and it was really good but i have swatched these and they are phenomenal i'm gonna keep this i've got this one by Too faced and it's salted caramel which i think i got like two years ago or last year i don't actually remember when these came out but that's what it looks like again it's another neutral palette and i do love these <clears throat> kind of shades i'm gonna keep this um, I haven't bought from Too Faced in a while either because they have been a bit, you know. Then I have the Jungle Book collection as well from Beauty Bay. Like, look at that. Those shades are just delicious. Like, that's the only way to describe it. Like, that, again, stunning. So I could easily let go of the Elf one because I've got the shades here that I wanted. Um, I've got the Alice in Wonderland palette, which looks like this, which is interesting, again. Um, I've got the... Dumbo palette which is this one that's so nice I am thinking of going back through my single eyeshadows and letting go of more because I feel like I've got all the ones that I really have in here already and then I have another Alice in Wonderland palette which looks like this which is kind of cool so I'm going to keep that too next I'm going to go through this pile here I've got this Robin quad which looks like this I'm not a big fan of cream shadows because I feel like they really really crease on me and I've used this a few times and even though it looks absolutely stunning and absolutely divine, I just feel like these crease so much and very easily. So as much as I want to keep these, I just don't feel like I should. However, saying that, I know if I get rid of it, I'm going to hate myself for it. I'm going to put this in my um, palettes to try slash chopping block. Give it a go and if i still don't like this then i'm gonna let it go but for now i'm gonna keep it i know i'm so weak i've got a couple of charlotte tilbury ones this is the golden goddess i actually really like this palette so that's one that one's gonna stay i've got the the rebel which i also like because greens are like my favorite that's gonna stay and then i've got the vintage vamp which i I'm 50-50 on this because this shade kind of annoyed me, but the others are really nice. So I think for now, I'm actually going to keep that. That's the line I'm going to put to my mini pile. Then I've got this Ciate London palette. This is the chocolate one. This is part of like uh, Robert Velsh's collection that he kind of had with them. These are really nice shades and the quality of this is really good. So I'm going to keep this. Then I've got Huda Beauty, Tobaz Obsessions. I have so many of these shades now, it's all literally on repeat, but I am going to keep this. I've got the Emerald Obsessions and I adore this one. Um, it's so good, like the greens in here, the quality of the shimmers are so good. That one's going to stay. <clears throat> and then I also have the Ruby Obsessions, which is this, and I've used it once before and it's so good. Love that so much. I've got the Rich Nudes, and I think this is why I got rid of the other palette from Huda Beauty which was the the chocolate brown one because it's kind of similar shades to this and some of the other ones in the um nude obsessions collection that she released so I'm going to keep this one instead and um, my friend gave me that one I've also got the pastels in rose which I'm going to keep um the shimmers are really good the mattes are quite powdery you can't really tell how powdery they are in this palette but they were very powdery in the lilac one because I definitely have more of a dip going on in like this shade here but I am going to keep this because I do love the way my eye look turned out in that one so I'm now starting to struggle with actually speaking so this palette is by Lottie London it's the one of the vampire diaries collection and that's what it looks like it's such a tiny palette but I really like these shades in here but they were just really gorgeous and the swatches were really great and um, they had another palette which most of, most of these shades are from but rather than getting that one I decided to get this because it's a lot smaller and more compact and it had all the shades I was actually going to use so that's why I got this one I have another Natasha Denona one but this is like brand new to my collection this is like also the one that she's most recently released and this is the Need a Nude palette that's stunning like you've got to be kidding these are literally the shades that I would love to wear on an everyday basis like that color and Delilah, like Whisper, come on now. This is not going anywhere. I've also got this one by ABH in, I think it's Novu, but I'm pretty sure that's being said wrong. That's what it looks like. 
Um, and I thought that was an interesting colour story. So I'm definitely going to keep this as well. I'm just going to get rid of this lip because I hate those. I have this from like, again, the Vampire Diaries. This is Team Stefan. I did not like the other version of this palette. But this is definitely an interesting shape. I think they could have done a little bit better with their graphics on these palettes. But it's not bad. Just look at that. The pans are tiny and cute. But I do really love it. So that's going to stay. I also have this um, MUA Cosmetics palette in Enchant Enchantment. Um, these shades were quite interesting. I think these two are the main reason I actually got the palette. But it's really nice. And I wanted to try the formula. So I'm going to keep that one as well. I also recently bought the Beauty Bay Met Metamorphic palette. And honestly, it looks really gorgeous. I want to just take it out of the packaging and show you guys. First, I thought it was quite interesting that they've got this concept going on like this now, where you open the palettes like this, and then it's got two mirrors, one on this side, one on this side, one's more zoomed in the other, um, and that's what the actual palette itself looks like, and I thought it was great, so that's going to stay. I've got this one by Nabla, this is a side-by-side -side palette, which, if I can open it, it looks like this. Again, it's such a good palette, um, I just need to try to use this more often. Or at least remember to use it. I've got the Alva palette by Odin's Eye. That's what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. Again, absolutely love that colour story. So that can stay. I have this one by Beauty Bay. And it's the Earthy palette, which looks like this. This is the £16 one. But I do have the full... I have the 42 size palette. So for that reason, that's going to go. But just that colour there is absolutely sunny. But yeah, I don't need to like repeat it. So that can go. I have the Inner Trance palette by Colourpop. Um, these, I know I'm going to have a hard time letting go of, but I do want to keep this palette in the way that it is. That's nice. That can stay. I've got Aura and Out in that same collection, which looks like this. It's, again, a really nice palette. So this can completely stay the way it is. And the last one in that collection was the Miss Bliss palette, which looks like that. And I do love those like peachy tones. So I'm going to keep this the way that it is as well. Then I have Orange You Glad which looks like this i'm going to keep it the way that it is as well i've got cherry crush which looks like this this is one of the palettes i think i might end up playing around with and creating my own color story um and you'll see why i've got it's my pleasure i do love a good purple moment as well and the shades in here are really nice so that can stay i then also have orchid you know which are more like deeper toned purples which i really nice because i don't think i have many of these in my collection i again could be lying to myself but you know i'm gonna keep that one as well i've got lilac you a lot and i do love a good pastel kind of purple moment and these are really lovely shades so i'm gonna keep this i also feel like the color pop formula for the most part is pretty good i've also got <laughs> uh -huh, honey which looks like this i've used it once before and i did really like the look that i got so i'm gonna keep this one i have strawberry shake which is one of the palettes I'm thinking of depotting and kind of making my own colour story, but keeping this packaging because that's a lot nicer. Um, so that's one. And the other one I think was Cloud Spun that I also wanted to kind of recreate my own kind of colour story with this as well. So I might mix shades from these palettes that I think I'm going to keep into one palette, but that's going to stay for now. I've got High Tide, which is a really nice kind of greeny, the blue green kind of palette again just so gorgeous that's gonna stay i've got blush crush which is a really lovely like neutrally kind of pinky palette which is nice making molds i love this one so much the shades in here are absolutely stunning that's gonna stay little ray of sunshine absolutely love that that can stay i've also got nude mood which looks like this you can't go wrong with the neutral palette that's going to stay and this is exactly why I have a problem and I can't let go of anything. Again, I'm just changing angles as I'm getting closer to the end of the pile or like progressing my way to the other side. Um, let's start off from this small pile here. I've got a couple of Kaleidos palettes, but I'm going to keep all of them because they're just so gorgeous. Like that palette, the colour story is dying. That's literally not going anywhere. I've got this one, which is the um, future, Futurism. Um, Electro Turquoise palette, which is like this. Um, again, really nice colour story. 
That can stay for sure. So I can actually close it back up. I've got this palette, which is the Astro Pink, which again, packaging is stunning, but the actual colour story itself is also absolutely gorgeous. That's not going anywhere. And the last one in that particular collection is this one, which is Sashimi City, um, which is like a really neutral palette. And it looks like that. I'm going to keep that too. And the artwork on these palettes are just so stunning. Visually, love it. I've got two palettes, I think, from Artitude Cosmetics. This is one of them. They're really cool in the brand. I'm going to keep this palette because it, the colours in here are really, really good. Um, and the quality is a phenomenal, so that can stay. Okay, then I have this like mini revolution palette. But I'm going to let this go because I'm not going to use this at all. And it's so tiny, it's going to get lost, lost in my collection. And these are very basic colours. I'm pretty sure I've got already in the 100 like neutrals that I've kept so far. So that can go. Then I have this one by Profusion, it's the Spectrum palette, which is actually really, really cool. And I've used this one quite a lot, but the quality of this for like a five pound palette is really good. So I'm gonna keep this one. Then I have this one by um, Oma Beauty. This is the Coming to America palette in Royal Heritage, which looks like this. The colour, sorry, is so good. The quality is freaking amazing. The artwork is gorgeous. That palette's not going anywhere. I have this one by Zoeva and it's the Caramel Melange palette, which looks like this. And honestly, the formula is fantastic. And um, the shade, no, the actual look I did with this was really good. So I'm going to keep this one for now as well. I have this one from Revolution and Sofex. This is the second palette. I think this is, yeah, so this is the Super Spice one. It's really nice, it's a really good quality palette, but I'm gonna let it go. Um, there's no particular reason for it, I just don't see me using this palette. I'm not gonna use most of the last row. Um, I've got these in other palettes, these are in other palettes. I've got a much better purple, like if anything, I'd only wanna keep it for this color and this color, possibly that and this, but I have other palettes that I've kept that have all of those shades, so this one can go. I've got this Latte 2 by Dominique Cosmetics. That can stay. <laughs> it's a good quality palette and I do like it. I've got this one by Revolution and it's the Forever Flawless Palettes in Enchanted, which is a Halloween release, like I think two years ago. I could be wrong, it could be three years. Like I have no concept of time at this point, um, but I am gonna keep this one because it was actually a pretty good palette. Um, I have these two by Revolution as well, but this is their um, Friends collab. This is Joey. The quality in these palettes are not good, so I'm gonna let it go. And all I've done is swatch it, but the shimmers do not show up at all. And I just I know I'm not gonna use these palettes because I have other sh like other better quality palettes with these colors, so that one can go. So can the one for Chandler because again I've got better quality colors. No, better quality formulas in the same color, so that one can also go. Then I have this one by ColourPop, and this is like their um purpley singles, but. It's like a full palette that they kind of sell like this. I'm going to keep that as well. I have so many Colourpop pal palettes. I'm generally quite surprised by this. I have three here by Cosmic Brushes. <clears throat> this is the Royal Rose palette, which looks really cool. I haven't actually used this. I've only just swatched some of the shades, but it does look really good. So I'm going to keep that. <coughs> then there's this one, which is, I think, one of the newer palettes. This is Muse. And honestly, just that's so stunning that's not going anywhere i have this one which is serenity and again the like the, this color story is very unique um so i'm going to keep this one as well i have this one by Lois cosmetics this is meet me at midnight this was the second palette that she did this is very like witchy and it's honestly really really good quality so i'm going to keep this one as well um Okay, I guess I'll just like form a pile here and kind of go through some of the stuff. Um, I have this one by Natasha Denona. This is the mini love palette, which looks like this. Um, to be honest, I only really like these two shades. So I kind of want to let this one go, but I'm probably going to keep myself if I do. Um, so I'm going to keep this one for now. I've got this one by, again, Natasha Denona. This is a mini retro palette. I really like this colour story and the, sh the quality of these particular shades are amazing. 
but I think I've dropped this so many times that it's just breaking. That's like a swatch, but it's not gonna like, for some reason, it's not actually gonna like. Okay, the camera hates me today, but I'm gonna keep this palette anyway. I don't know why I have a duplicate, so this one can go. I've got this one by Colourpop, and this is the Amor palette, which honestly, I only want to keep it because of that colour that's really stupid like okay that's actually such a gorgeous shade but i i just don't see why i would need to i might keep this to the side and just kind of take this whole color around and get rid of the rest same thing for this one this is the cherish palette and i think i wanted to keep it for this particular shade because just look at that oh the quality smells like great never mind i think i'm just gonna let this one go um i've got the natasha mini zendo palette which looks like this and that's actually a pretty cool color story so i'm going to keep this one then i also have the mini glam palette which looks like this again i'm going to keep that because the quality of these is really good i've got two by ofra cosmetics this one can go don't need it don't care about it i've got this one again by ofra same thing it can go i don't need it don't care about it I've got this one by Too Faced. This is the Cinnamon Bear palette. This was two years. This is their Christmas or holiday collection two years ago. This is currently supposed to be my, um, or maybe in 2020. This is supposed to be my Panda palette for this year. But as you can see, it's not really going that well. But I am going to keep this one. I've got the Infinity palette by um, Linda Holberg, which looks like this. Um, I'm going to keep that one. I have this one by Natasha Denona in Sunrise, which looks like this. I have used it once. The quality is amazing, so I'm going to keep that one. I've got some of these smaller palettes here. I'm just going to pile it all up, I'll be honest. And to kind of bring it closer to me. So I've got this one by Sigma. It's a Magnifique palette, which looks like this. And I can't lie, it's a really good small palette but i just don't feel like i'm going to use it so this one can go then i have this one by tarte cosmetics this is the love dust and fairy no love trust and fairy dust palette everybody kept screaming this is going to get get discontinued and it's still being sold on the website like i looked like a, a while ago and it was still there so i was lied to but the palette is actually really really good you can't really tell the color so well in this particular palette because literally like it's a mirror but these shades perform so well so i'm going to definitely keep this one for now i've got a couple of dior palettes this was their like i think collection for last year this is the khaki neutrals palette which looks like this and it always come with like one kind of concealer shade or like a primer so i'm going to keep this one because it, it costs a pretty penny and we're also going to keep this one which is the amber neutrals which looks like this stunning keeping it I have one more from them, which is the Burgundy Neutrals, which looks like this. So that can also stay. I've got some more Huda ones. This is the Nude Light palette, which is looks which literally looks like this. I'm gonna keep that because I adore it so much. And also it's such an easy colour story to use. Like you literally just throw on those shades and do like a one and done look. Oops, that was an accident. I have this um pastel mitten one by them as well, which I'm gonna keep because it's really nice and I've got the other two and I really enjoyed those. I have this one which is the new neon one and I'm, as much as I really like this I just don't see myself using it. Like these two shades are quite interesting but I think I've got, hold on, I have the recent Beauty Bay Tropical Palette which obviously is not the same thing but I would rather keep this palette let go of this one because i just don't see myself using these so that one can go i have this one by nars this is the climax palette that's like it has my heart like these are so grungy perfect for autumn this is not going anywhere and then i have this other one by um huda beauty which is another neon palette i mean it had come forward that these are not really safe to use and i just i just don't see myself using this palette that can also go got 
the medium nude which looks like this and i've used this a few times and i really love the quality of this so this one can definitely stay i regret buying these two from huda beauty this is the orange and purple palette literally it's like yeah so i'm actually gonna let this one go and the same thing with this one i'm gonna let this one go i i know i'm not gonna use this one at all i don't even want to bother using the formula this is such a waste of money but i'm gonna let it go um this is the mini gold palette which and this is another one that's dropped so many times um and survived everyone but this is also really really good um i have this one by unicorn cosmetics this is shattered and because of the way it broke there was some glass found in the actual eyeshadows that's very dangerous to use in your eyes so if you ever see if you've got a palette that's got the actual mirror cracked don't use it it's not worth it at all so this is going to go in the trash i have this one by sample beauty this is the painter's palette which looks like this um it's pretty decent formula but i'm gonna let it go because i there's only so much I want to use this palette. Go through this pearl here, and I've got such bad pins and needles. But I've got the Lust for Dust, no, Lust for Dusk palette, which is a really good like um, color story. I'm gonna keep this one. I just need to remember to use it more often. I have the Lizzie McGuire one, which looks like this, and the shade's pretty cool, so I'm gonna keep that one too. I also have the So Very Pal So Very Lovely palette, which. I'm not really sold on. I'm gonna let this one go. This is definitely a regret. So that one can go. I have the Flirty Talk palette, which looks like this. I bought the entire collection, which I respectfully regret. But I'm gonna keep the palette because it's nice. Um, I've got another Ace Beauty. This is a Scarlet Dust palette, which, yeah, it's another really cool color story, and I'm gonna keep this one for now. Um, I'm going to do like a once over these palettes, so some more of these might end up leaving my collection. I've got the Freya palette, this one. This is discontinued, but this is so nice. I love this so much. Every time I've made it, like I've done a look with this palette, it's always turned out banging. So that one's going to stay. I also have the Saga of Freya, the Amber Tears palette, which is this one here. Looks like this. I haven't actually used this yet, but I would love to dive into that. That can stay in my collection. I've got the Flesh of My palette which looks like this that can also stay i have the blooming lovely palette which looks like this and i'm going to let this one go because i just don't see myself using a lot of these shades i've got the medusa palette by uh manny mua which looks like this uh i'm going to keep this one as well I also have the, no, it's not Manny MUA, that's obviously the owner of the brand, but it's in the beauty. I'm going to keep the Moon Spells palette, which looks like this. Um, it's a pretty interesting colour story, so that can also stay. Oops. I have this one, which is the Birds of Paradise. Yeah, Birds of Paradise palette, which looks like this. Um, I'm going to let this one go as well. The quality is great, but I just don't need it. I've got these Thumb Beauty, the Jewel Toned Palette. I love this one. This one's going to stay. I've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Palette. This is the Jack one. Um, I like this. I really do. But the quality is a little bit questionable. So what I might actually do is test this out on my face once and if it's like not performing as well as i would like it to i'm gonna put this in my makeup memory box because my friend got this for me i love like the nightmare before christmas movie it was a really good one so i'm gonna keep this one for now but put it in like the chopping block one but i'm still gonna keep it this is the melt melt amour palette i think which looks like this um i mean for the most part this palette is really nice but i think they should have had a different shade here because this one it just doesn't really go with the palette it just like these two maybe if they were a bit different i'm so orange it would have like then because i feel like this row works really well so did this row for the most part this row works well 
and so does this but i feel like two shades if two to three shades of this swapped this would have been a really great palette but i'm going to keep this because it's it's a good quality palette um i have a couple of beauty pay palettes here which i think i am going to keep all of them i've got the book of magic i think yes this is the book of magic this is a really cool color story um unfortunately these are discontinued but you can get the 42 palette beauty bay the 42 palette ones which have most of these colors in there anyway i think um i'm gonna keep this one <clears throat> then there's sunset horizons which honestly is a bit questionable but the quality is phenomenal so i'm gonna keep this one i've also got the love notes palette which looks like this and i really enjoyed using this so i'm gonna keep this one I've got the dark fantasy palette, which is definitely more on like the grungier side. Definitely going to keep that one. I've got New Mood, which was a, I think this I got as either a free gift for purchase or when I bought like a big box to try from them. This is part of the palette that came with it. Um, this one has me a little bit confused because I'm not really that drawn to it. It's like a good palette, but I'm just not that drawn to it. So I'm gonna put this in the baby pile and then come back to that one. I've got the Wilderness palette, which I'm definitely keeping because that is just amazing. Then I've got the Glamidrix Cosmetics and this is the Nocturnal palette, which is honestly really good. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then I also bought the nearly neutral palette which looks like this and honestly this was also really good to use so i'm gonna keep this one i got three palettes from vive this is the first one it's a really good quality I'm gonna keep that i've got muse which is my one of my favorites um i'm gonna keep this one and this is something i love as well this is the 90s palette and this is probably one of my favorites in the collection this colour story is pretty unique and I do love that a lot. I have two more from Kaleidos. This is the Club Nebula. This is their collab with Angelica. And that looks like that. The quality of this is so good. I feel like Kaleidos really, like, this was amazing. Their formula for the shimmers and the... It's just... It pops. And then the mattes are buttery, so they're so easy to blend. And then this palette as well, which is the Escape Pod, which absolutely amazing. Like, I love the shimmers and the mattes again, so buttery. So, I'm gonna keep this one. I wish they'd release some more like creative stuff like they did in the past. I know the angles are not that great, and I've just like dropped all of like a whole pile of palettes, but I'm gonna go for this pile next. I've got a stack of Pat McGrath. I'm gonna move these over as well because that's a whole Pat McGrath collection. This was, I think, three years ago. This is the Celestial Divinity palette, which looks like this. Honestly, these are really good quality shades. I want to keep this palette. This was supposed to be the one two years ago. Again, it's really, really good quality. And I'm going to keep this one as well. You've got the Hutopian Dreams, which looks like this. And that's, I've only used it once and it's really good. I'm going to keep this one. I have uh, Mothership 5, I want to say. I'm going to say this is Mothership 5. I could be very wrong, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to keep this one as well because it was really good quality. And I actually really enjoyed the look I got with this. Then I have Divine Rose 2 in the, I think, special edition packaging. That's what th that looks like. And again, this was so good to use. So I'm going to keep this one. Then I have the Divine Rose, which looks like this and i'm gonna keep this one because this is more like muted and i like that kind of that tone is that probably my favorite so i'm gonna keep this one as well i've got this one and only bh cosmetics palette this is the smitten in switzerland palette which looks like this um i've used it once and it's really good i feel like at this point i've got a lot more palettes which have like similar tones like i've got all of these these th i'm sure i've got all of those i'm gonna let this one go i mean the quality is amazing don't get me wrong but i'm sure i can let this one go also bh cosmetics is now sold by revolution and i highly doubt i'm gonna um get stuff from them 
I might change my mind on this, so I'll see. But for now, I'm going to let it go. I've got this one by Pat McGrath again. This is the... Oh, Rose de Cadence palette. It's a great quality palette, but I just don't see myself using this. I mean... that's the swatches of it i've done so far and it's so good like a part of me wants to let this go and then i'm just like i can't because it's so good so i think i'm gonna keep that one for now i've got the beauty bay berries palette i'm gonna let this one go because i've got the full size version so i absolutely love the formula but i have the big version so i don't need to keep the small palette so that can go i've got a few of my natasha denona's this is the bronze palette I'm gonna keep that one I've got the Retro palette, which I absolutely love as well. I'm going to keep this one. I've got the Love palette, which looks like this. It's also quite good, so I'm going to keep this one. I have the Star palette, which I do regret buying. But that looks like this. And I think I'm going to keep this one out because it's still a pretty good palette. I've got the Circa Loco palette, which I know most people hated, but I actually really enjoyed using. So I'm going to keep this one. I've got the Safari palette, which I bought off somebody, and honestly, this is my absolute favourite because it's a full matte palette, and the formulas, the formula for this is just so great, so that can stay. I have the Trichrome palette, which I bought off a friend. That's amazing. Look at that. Loved it so much. It's gonna stay. I have the Lila palette or Lila palette which is another regretful purchase of mine, but it is amazing quality, so I am going to keep this one. Um, I have the Sunset palette, which I also regret buying. And I think for now I'm going to keep it, but eventually I might get rid of this, but for now it's going to stay. Because I just can't... I need time to process that I wasted money on these palettes, <laughs> and then I'm going to sell it. But it'll probably be kind of... Over the next couple of months, I make that decision. I've got the BB palette, and I really love this one so much. So this one can stay. Um, it's a really good, like, neutral basic palette you can take, like, with every day. So that one's not going anywhere. I've got this one by Tarte, and it's the Spicy Batch palette, which looks like this. This one's going. I don't need it. I don't care for it. I've got this Revolution one, um, but the formula of this one is, like, really dried out. I love the tones of it, so I think I have a replacement somewhere, but for now, this, this one is the old version. That one's going to go. I've got this one by Artitude Cosmetics. This is the Colour Splash palette, which looks like this. The quality is really good, but I just don't feel like I'm gonna go for these colours, so for that reason, I'm gonna let this one go. So, I'm kinda gonna go through a little bit of both at the same time. I've got this one from She Glam, which I bought because it was Sagittarius. It looks like this. Cute, but I'm gonna let it go. I've got two here from the Hello Kitty collection. I loved Hello Kitty as growing up when I was a kid. This was like one of my absolute favourites, next to Barbie, so. <laughs> yeah um the formula of these isn't really that great the mattes are so powdery but there's no point me keeping this because i've got the orange you glad palette so this one can go and this one's the other one which i'm gonna let go of because th this was just atrocious to use it was so so powdery and again i've got like two of the i think i've got Lil Ray of sunshine and the uh -huh honey so this one can go i've got this one from suku this is that's the palette um it looks like this but i'm gonna let this one go because it's more on the subtle side and i don't really go for subtle um this one was a really good face highlight i have to say but i'm gonna let this one go i have this one by umu again this is the queen to be no omo no i've said it incorrectly it's a omo beauty umu is a name for somebody that i used to know um but this palette it looks really great however I just don't have a use for these, so I'm going to let this one go. I've got two Revolution palettes, which I'm also going to let go of, because I just don't need these at all. That's what one of these looks like. And the other one is just like a bright neon orange one, which looks like this. I'm going to let this go. And no, I'm not going to use those. I have this one from LH Cosmetics. This is the Enchanted Mysteries. That's what it looks like. I'm going to keep this one. I have this one from Odin's Eye, which is the Alva Mini Forest palette. It's a really good quality one, so I'm going to keep this one. I've got this other Pat McGrath one. This is the Sublime palette. 
and I really like this neutral one so I'm going to keep that this Too Faced palette <coughs> is the Too Femme palette which looks like this and it's a really good colour story it's a really good packaging so I'm kind of torn in that I'm going to keep this one for now um, this is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette packaging of this was actually amazing and that's what the actual palette itself looked like um, I'm definitely going to keep this one because it's so good I uh, have this one also is as sweet as can be the Winnie the Pooh collection honestly I really love this Winnie the Pooh again was something I absolutely adored when I was growing up I'm going to keep that palette this is the newer version to replace the other palette that I got rid of earlier it looks like this and I really love this colour story and I realised today that I had something very similar to this previously so actually I wasted my money and done, did not need this but that's fine it's here I'm going to keep this I've got this ABH collection, I've got this off somebody, this is the volume 5 palette. Um, looking back on this, I would never, I wouldn't have purchased it today if I was to do it again. But I do love a good purple moment, so I'm going to keep this. Also, I've realised this shade, particular one, is similar to the one I wanted to keep in a Colourpop palette, this one. They're so similar that I'm going to let this palette go in its entirety and just keep this palette instead. I've got the Phoenix palette. This is the most recent one from Artitude Cosmetics. She's got a new one releasing very soon now, which I'm really excited to see. I'm gonna keep this one because it's amazing. And the quality is actually really great. This is my only made my Mitchell palette, which looks like this. And there has been so many times I wanted to let this go and so many times like, no, I wanna keep it. But I think I'm gonna let this one go because all the neutral shades I have like the packaging of this is absolutely cute, stunning, but I just, I've got so many other palettes with literally exact same shades. Probably this is the only one I don't have. Something like this I might not have either. And this one, but that's not enough for me to want to keep an entire palette. I could again change my mind after I decided to let this one go, but for now it's gonna go. I've got this one by Sun Beauty. This is the Equalizer palette and this is volume two. <clears throat> and that looks like this. I'm going to keep this one because I really love the colours in here. I think it's absolutely stunning. And also what I love about these particular palettes from them is that you've got all of these names here and they kind of match to the outer ones. You've got these names which match to each other and then the ones here. So it's it's stripping down. It's 10 o'clock. And you've got Bittersweet. You've got Bottomless, Brunch, Whispering, Angel. Um, and it kind of carries on. So it's Feeling Myself daydream um cherry blossom so i love the way that they've done the name shades like that but i'm going to keep this palette because it's so good <clears throat> this one i've thought about letting go for a while this is the equalizer palette but this is the first one and i just don't see myself using a lot of these shades i'll be honest i absolutely love the neutral row like give that to me any day but the rest of it i just don't see myself wanting to keep and i, I hate breaking up collections but this one i just i know i'm never going to use it so this is going to go Another palette which I'm really like, I highly doubt I'm going to use is this one by BH Cosmetics. This was the Christmas collection like three years ago. The formula of this is so good, it's so soft and buttery, but I just, I know I'm never going to use this. This one's going to go. And I know if I do use it, I'm going to have to force myself to use it. There's no point, this one's going to go. This is the Loy's Cosmetics first palette she did. This was the Meet Me in the Underworld which looks like this. Honestly, by far, my favourite palette. It's so stunning. This one's staying. I've got the So Jaded palette. This is the Kathleen Nights and Colourpop collab, which looks like this. I'm gonna keep this one. I might just reshuffle the shade because I don't like this current colour story the way it is. Um, I've got this one, which is the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials collab, which looks like this. And honestly, a part of me wants to kind of keep this and a part of me is like, Mm, really good this is literally a free gift for purchase i think at one point they were just trying to get rid of this palette at one point i did see it being sold for like five pounds i wonder how many of these that they've actually like um produced um but yeah no i the, the shimmers in this are stunning i might just keep this for the shimmers i know that's not great but they're really good this is like the last of the palettes before I kind of go through everything off camera one more time just to make sure that there's nothing else that I can potentially get rid of. I have this one by Rare Beauty and this is the True To Myself palette. 
which looks like this i think the rest of this was really good i just hate that she's got a big ass glitter in the middle i think that should have been changed to something else and then i think the palette would have been stunning because glitter is quite hard to use and people can find it quite irritating as well so i think that's something she should probably change in the palettes but i do like the rest of the the formula for the rest of it so i am going to keep this on for now i have toyed about getting rid of this before got rid of it and i hate it got it back out of the drawer like it was something i could not stop thinking about so i've kept it for now my pins and needles are killing me i've got this tiny one in the shade uh i love you a latte from color uh, sorry elf cosmetics this is such a good palette and i use this so much so i'm gonna keep this one this tarty beauty palette is from aliexpress i can't lie the shimmers are stunning but i just i'm never gonna use this that one can go I've got this Natasha Denona purple palette. It just says palette 12. It's not even got a name to it. It's a really good quality palette and I am going to keep this for now. I've got this one and only Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette, which is the dollhouse I bought from somebody. And honestly, it's so great. I used it once for a wedding. My eyes, out of the world, out of this world. It was so good. I'm going to keep this palette. I just need to play around with this a lot more. But yeah, stunning, keeping. Um, I have this Glam Light and Michaela palette. And again, the only reason I have this is because I bought it from a friend. I wouldn't ever purchase this myself, I'll be honest. The colour store itself is great and I do love it. Um, but Glam Light shipping to the UK is ridiculous. I really like a few of these shades here. Like these, the neutrals are really good. The shimmers of these palette, like... Glam light shimmers are amazing. So I think for now I'm going to keep this palette, but I do need to try to use this a little bit and see if this is still something I want to keep. If not, I will sell it. I've got this one by Iconic London. This is their Day to Slay palette. I know they've got quite a few, but I hate how chunky the packaging is. The quality, however, is amazing. I can't believe I was considering letting this one go. And then I used it and oh my God, it's so good. So that can stay. So the reason I got rid of the smaller ones is as you can see, I've got the 42 color palette. Um, and this is like everything I could possibly need. Um, well, actually there's quite a few shades in between, which I'm missing, but again, like for mostly, how often I use blues, like this is perfect for me. Um, I've got enough purples in here, which is great. I'm gonna keep this one. I've got the earthy palette, which again is like a load of neutrals and greens plenty of options I can actually go for which is great so I'm going to keep this one and I've got the be <laughs> the berries which is like the reds pinks and uh, a couple of like purpley toned pinks I'm going to keep this one out I've also got the brights palette um, I know they've got like an all matte one but this is the one with the shimmers inside I wish I had the all matte one because I think I would have enjoyed that a little bit more but this was like a free gift for purchase so I'm going to keep this one because that colour is really nice and some of these others are really great as well got the jade palette by beauty bay and this is a collab um and i have to say the color story is great the formu the formula of beauty bay is also really really good so i am going to keep this one and the last one i have is the neutral palette which looks like this and i'm definitely going to keep this one the only one i'm missing from this collection is the rich palette which i haven't got yet but eventually i think i will probably pick that up but this is just stunning i'm going to keep this one and this is another berries palette which i don't obviously need so this one is also going to go this is my first round i've let go of 40 palettes which shocking um i'm now gonna do a once over i've like gone through this a second time third fourth and i'm pretty sure fifth time around i've stacked these up into piles of 15 palettes and all together i'm keeping 166 that's number 166 palettes, which obviously is so much. Um, there's a few things that are like kind of I'm not really sure about, some things I might depart, but that's just a hassle for another day. But for now, I think I've decided this is what I'm happy with keeping for now. We come over here, and this is 52 palettes I'm letting go of. These are stacked up in piles of 10, except for the two at the bottom with the Natasha Denona Pat McGrath. That's just a pile of two. That's 52 eyeshadow palettes. That's probably the most I've ever let gone of, like in terms of when it comes to palettes. This is insane. 
um and i'm so happy i have gone through and decided to let all of these go as well because i just know i'm not going to use them and it's probably for the best that like somebody else gets to use these